I want to give you the quick argument called it's pesticide stupid. So when you're talking to someone saying, you know what, the bees are dying, it's pesticide, the trees are gone, it's pesticides, oh no, it's more complicated than that kind of bullshit. You hear it on the media and everything else, I want to say no, it's pesticide stupid. So let me explain to you the very simple dynamics of pesticides. Well, number one, the farmer puts them down. Why? To kill insects that eat and munch on their crops so they have a greater yield and they make more money. Okay? However, what happens to these pesticides? They go into the earth. Now what eats the earth? Worms. Now obviously, if they designed pesticides to kill worms, what would happen? They would kill agriculture. So they go to great effort to create pesticides that don't kill worms. So how do they do that? Well, you create pesticides that affect the, the neuron toxins of the animal to basically make them dumb or stupid or just kind of jittery and give them the shakes and everything else and die. Well, guess what? Worms don't have a brain, so to speak, and uh, they don't really use any of your neurotoxins. They don't have to think. They just are, you know, they're just tubes and they suck in the earth and they spit it out. They take out the nutrients. So what happens? These worms become little pesticide, you know, weed killer, agrochemical bombs. So on a cool day, these little worms, what do they do? They go, wow, look at the road, it's warm. Let's go out on the road and warm ourselves. And what happens? The little robin or the sparrow or the swallow or the bird goes, wow, look, a free meal. Well, hey, stupid, they don't realize that this worm is a cocktail of death. So they eat the worm, and what happens? They die. Just the same way that in 40 years ago, research showed this. There's plenty of research, a thesis that was written 40 years ago that did studies on this and proved it. And no one's talking about it. That's why the robins were dying all over, because they were using DDT. Well, DDT and systemic pesticides are really no different except for DDT never breaks down and systemic pesticides break down in 15 years. DDT is not water soluble, whereas systemic pesticides are, which in many respects, they, it's not, uh, systemic pesticides are not, you know, uh, won't kill like DDT. DDT was just a super, let's put out some crazy drug that will never go away, pesticide. Um, they die. So you may say, well then how the bees die? How we're affecting the bees? Well, it's very simple. The farmer, you know, trying to make more money because they don't really make that much money. Put down pesticides, improve the, the crop load, and they're they're not to blame. You know who's to blame? It's the agrochemical sales guys going there, basically selling them a you know bunch of bullshit. And the poor farmer has cl is clueless for the most respect on what's going on. And they want you know they've got families to feed and everything else. And if this will help improve and lessen the amount of work they're going to use it people take you know between two points take the easiest way so in this case these agrochemicals weed killers and everything else get into the water again they're water soluble the key word is water they're soluble so what does the little bee do and it, look around this little canal right there by the by the temple they're going all the way around these little canals become little death traps for little insects that go down there to drink get water insects need water so they drink water and they in the in the case of the bees they take it back to their hive they feed it to their queen they feed it to their brood the you know the brood is the little eggs the little, the little young you know and they become weakened they become more susceptible to mites they you know and yada 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 it's pesticide stupid pesticide and we've known this for 40 years and the EPA has known this because we've seen since the introduction of pesticides in the 1940s, we've seen a decline of bees, okay? Um, and it's been, you know, it's been documented by the EPA. And I've got a video called The Smoking Gun. So if anyone says, well, we don't know if it's pesticides, say, no, stupid, it is. And let me explain it to you. Watch this talk by Michael Trout to explain it. It really is that simple. It's pesticide, stupid. Water soluble pesticides are getting in. And what's even worse is this, is that it's getting into us. You drink your green tea, you think the organic farmer who's next door to the, the regular farmer using pesticides, that water is contaminating their farm. You know, pretty much pesticides are getting into everything. And do you know that, for example, pesticides 
Um, also side effect is they create estrogen. And there's some great research and studies by a professor who's been marginalized, okay, who, show, who shows this, that frogs dipped in very minute amount of uh, herbicide and pesticide actually start becoming women, right? Uh, they absorb the chemicals in their skin, they start producing estrogen and everything else. So if you're wondering why, for example, Japan has a three to one or seven to one men to women, it's probably because of that. If you're wondering why men are having the inability to have boys, men, right? It's probably because of the more estrogen in their, in their, you know, in their, in their or in the less uh, um, sperm count, right? Because it is the men who pass on. If you've got something that's 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 keeping down the testosterone, testosterone in the male. You're gonna have a hard time having that. It seems pretty simple science to me. So it's pesticide, stupid, and we've gotta go Coney 2012 against pesticides. It's that simple. And if you value, you know, your life, if you value the lives of your children, if you care, you will start sharing this video. You'll start telling people, and you know, be able to take the argument. What I've just told you is, it's not rocket science. It's really simple. There's plenty of research to show show it, and we have to put an end to pesticides. It's that simple. We just have to do it.